Hello again, friends. Today I am going to show you how to make a breathing pinwheel. And we have all practiced with smelling the flower and then blowing out the air to calm our bodies down. So I went onto the Conscious Discipline website and found a really neat way that we can make our very own pinwheel flower breathing calming device that you can use at home. And this is just using things that you find around your house or around your yard. So first I will tell you what we need and then I will show you how to make it. First, a stick. Yep, just toddle outside and find yourself a stick. Then a flower, of course. I picked a dandelion, my favorite, and they are ubiquitous, which means they are everywhere ubiquitous all over the place. Find a flower, any flower. If you don't have flowers outside, you can use a plastic flower. All, all's good. Then you will also need a square piece of paper. Any color's fine. You can use just regular paper. You can use something a little firmer than paper, um, cardstock, file folder. It just needs to be in the shape of a square. And then the video had said to use a bead. I don't have any beads. So I'm gonna just try with a button. See what happens. You will need scissors, a marker, some tape, and a pin. And if you are ready, here we go. All right, the first thing we're going to do is fold our square over diagonally twice so that we have two diagonal lines going this way and this way. And boys and girls, you'll want your grown up to help you do this because it does use a pin and that's not very safe. You might be able to use a paper clip as well. Um, let me know, try it and let me know if that works for you. So the second thing, once you have your square is you're going to make a mark about one third of the way up on each section. You can measure, which I'm really tempted to measure, but I'm just gonna eyeball it and see what happens. So I'll put it out there, I'll put it out there, I'll put it out there, and the fourth dot there. And there are my four dots. And then I am going to use my scissors and cut up to the dot and stop. Parents, this is great practice for your little ones using scissors and cutting and following a straight line and stopping. So you could even draw the line like this and have your preschooler practice cutting right there on the line and stopping at the dot. And I will go ahead and finish this last one. So there you have it all cut. Now for the tricky part. We're going to fold down every other point to the center. So I'm gonna start with this one and put it in the center. I'm gonna skip this one. I'm going to then fold this one. And I'm kind of overlapping the points in the center, if you can see that. So I've got one, I've got two. I'm going to skip this one. Here comes the third one. Gonna skip this one. Ooh, look at this. And here is the fourth one. And you can see the pinwheel is actually taking shape. How cool is that? So I am going to align all of these points one more time. And pick up my pinwheel shape. Take the pin, and this is where the grown-ups come in, and poke it through all four layers of those triangles, just like that, all the way through. So there you have it. Next, I'm going to take the button or bead, if you happen to have beads. I don't have beads, so the button or the bead will give you some space in here to allow your pinwheel to, to turn more freely. Then we will attach this to your stick by just poking your pin straight through the stick 
like so. There, if I hold it over there, you can see that. And then I'm going to just use my fingers. You can use pliers if you'd like to. And bend that pin down. Um, you can just try to poke it in the st stick. Like that. And there you have it. So now we have our pinwheel. And you give it a good blow. And it will spin. So we are going to go to the next part, which is we need the flower at the bottom. So I'm just very simply going to take my flower, put it on the bottom, little piece of tape, tape the stem on around here, like so. And there you have it. Our nice little conscious discipline breathing, calming, grounding device where you can have your child or yourself with all this crazy homeschooling, take a deep smell of the flower and blow the pinwheel. Again, smelling the flower and spinning the, spin wheel, the pinwheel with their breath. And one more time. There you go. And that's how to make a very easy pinwheel flower breathing calming device that we use from Conscious Discipline using just things you find right around your house. I hope you enjoy it and make a bunch of these, one for everybody in your family, and breathe together and have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye for now.